In today's update, we got new weapons with crazy effects when you take down players that we haven't seen before in Modern Warfare 2. This coming in the Tracer Pack Bone Chiller Bundle. The first thing in this bundle is that Operator skin. It has the Nuke skin cape, so now it's another version of the Nuke skin, and it's got a sick gold mask on it. I don't know. I'm a pretty big fan of Operator skins that are more simple in design with a little bit of gold accents. Have to see how that looks in game. Then we've got the Skull Breaker M4 Blueprint, which looks kind of sick. It's got a skull here, and when you reload it, you're going to see the skull go up and down. Uh, it is tuned for dual optics toggle, magazine ammo capacity, aiming idle stability. Then for the Tracer and Impact, it's got gold tracers and gold impact. Then the Death Effect is gold skull. So we'll have to see what that looks like. Then we've got the Bone Shaker, and this is for the brand new Marksman Rifle, the Tempest Torrent. This one is pro-tuned. It's pro-tuned for dual optics toggle, damage range and recoil control once again it's got that gold tracer that gold impact and that gold skull death effect then we've got the foul fate finishing move as always we'll try all three versions of this hopefully that looks pretty sick we've got the golden jaw weapon charm which is kind of basic we've got the ghost weapon decal and this is actually the cod ghost emblem so that's kind of sick we've got the death payment emblem then we've got the reaper's loading screen which is super basic let's go ahead and buy this bundle and we don't have enough the new skins on the spec group team since it's for ghost and this is opposite of the other paid nuke skin so now you can have a nuke skin for both teams here's the skin in a third person view it's pretty basic this is it compared to the actual nuke skin it's just a little bit darker and got a longer cape but besides that it looks almost identical from behind this is what other people see when you're wearing this skin so it's got the gold mask it's got the gold pistol some gold shells it's also got a pretty cool design in the front this is what the back of it looks like and this is it compared to the nuke skin now it's time to test out the blueprints here's the m4 and it kind of just looks like the normal gold camo it's not too crazy you can see the skull opens and closes as you reload it here's the new marksman rifle the tempest torrent and it's pretty much the exact same thing. It's gold and the skull opens and closes as you reload it. Let's test out the tracer fire. So if we shoot up into the air, yeah, it is just normal generic gold tracer fire. Nothing too special about it. Let's see the impact effects. So it's almost like gold. It's almost like the gold coin effect from the last one. Oh, you can see a ghost. Zoom in when you first hit it. There's actually like a ghost symbol when you first hit against a wall. That's pretty sick. That's not very noticeable. It's almost like ghost smoke. Just a bunch of ghost symbols. I wish it stayed a little bit longer. Here's what it looks like in the dark. And that is a lot brighter. You can definitely notice this a lot more in the dark. You can't really see the ghost near as well, but the gold circle effect is super vibrant down here now this weapon also has a special death effect when you take out enemies but we're gonna wait till we move over to mp to test that this is what the gold camo looks like on the blueprint and it pretty much is exactly what you expect here it is on the marksman rifle here's the platinum camo nothing too special and then here it is in the marksman rifle polyatomic looks kind of interesting you can see the lines on the side here it is for the marksman rifle once again those lines really stand out orion also has those same lines and they might stand out even more with the orion camo the solid camos look pretty solid i like the fact that the skull stays gold you don't get that with the mastery camos but the solid camos might be better for that fact and finally here's what they look like with the new boeing blossoms mastery camo these actually look really clean i love the fact that the skull turns black but you can still see the leaves fall down on top of it this is probably my favorite way to run this so far. Here's the charm and weapon decal that comes in the bundle. The charm's forgettable, but I really like this weapon decal. This might be my new go-to. I'm gonna rock this on a lot of weapons. It is definitely one of the better decals in the game. Now let's test out the foul fate finishing move and all the different versions of it. So first we've got the standing up version. Oh, okay. Then we've got the prone version. Oh, All right, pretty sick. Then finally, we've got the bleed out version. Ah. Cheers, you slag. Okay, not too bad, but at the same time, not too crazy either. Now for the most important test, let's see what happens when you start removing the attachments on these blueprints. Some blueprints get ruined when you do it, and yeah, this looks a little bit weird. The good part is there is no ammo type on this, so even if you remove all the attachments, you're still gonna have the tracers and you're still gonna have the death effects, but the weapon's gonna look pretty weird if you take that barrel off of it. Now let's do the same thing for the Tempest Torrent. Go ahead, start taking all the different attachments off of it. And wow, this one actually looks a lot better. If you take all the attachments off of this one, it doesn't change it. It's just the M4 that sucks. And this one also didn't have an ammo type. So if you take off all the attachments, you're still gonna get all the tracer effects. You're not gonna lose those. The only way you're gonna lose the tracer effects on these weapons is if you change the ammo type. And why can I not change, what? Oh, that's because I don't have it leveled up yet. This is the new DLC weapon and I don't have it leveled. We'll test it on the 
M4 here. So as you can see, we have all the tracer effects, all the death effects on the M4. If you put a custom ammo type on this, you are going to lose those tracer effects. And that goes for both weapons. You can see all the tracer fire is gone. So if you want to keep those cool effects, do not run anything on the ammunition slot. Now let's test out the new death effects on these weapons. This is my personal favorite part when we get new tracers effects. I love to see what happens when you take out enemies with it. So at a farther range, uh, it looked like there was a giant ghost, golden ghost symbol. Let's do it a little bit closer and see what happens. Yeah, so it seems to be like gold paper all over and there's a giant ghost kind of shadowy gold figure that appears. Boom, that is super noticeable. I really like this death effect. Now to test it in the dark and that is super vibrant. This might get annoying in smaller close quarter engagements because you can't see much of anything once you take out an enemy. Now let's try out these blueprints in an act. Ooh, that's a grenade. Okay, let's try out these blueprints in an actual game of MP. That way we can see the death effects a few more times, see how they look in a more natural environment and to see how well these weapons are built to see if they're good or if they're definitely something you want to pass on and put your own attachments on. Oh, so here's the M4, and oh, this thing's built like a laser. The M4 didn't have much recoil, but this blueprint build, it yeah, absolutely none, complete laser. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the M4 to begin with. This gun just doesn't seem to do enough damage for my liking, but this build seems like an okay build. This is something that would be perfectly fine to use. It seems to ADS decently fast. The sight works on it pretty well. It's not got a weird sight or anything. There we go. The death effect on this isn't really noticeable when the enemies are farther away. Like, look at that. You couldn't even tell what was going on there. You got to be pretty up close and personal to see the ghost. There we go. Turn him to a ghost. Oh, no, 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 no. So overall, the M4 build's decent. Now it's time to check out the brand new marksman rifle. This one I'm really excited for because I haven't even leveled this up yet. So now I get to use this with the tracer effects, all that cool stuff as I'm leveling it up. And uh, this build seems pretty sick. This is my first experience with this weapon. And I can tell you right now, I'm definitely liking it. Oh, 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 ah, that was my bad. That wasn't the blueprint. I just can't hit shots because I'm not very accurate. Uh, I don't like this sight. I'm, I'm going to take this sight off it. This is not a sight. I would put on this so but other than that the attachments on the blueprint seem pretty pretty fun oh did i just change this to acog oh one shot headshot i'll take it another headshot i'll take it or i'm giving this site a hard time and then i just get two easy headshots with it doesn't mean i like it now i'm still changing i'm still changing the site as soon as we we die well nope turns out i'm not changing the site because i've only got this weapon level four and i don't have the option to yet so i gotta use it a little bit more before i can even change the site dude this thing slaps when getting headshots bro we're getting head on dome oh headshot come on come on where's the third baby this thing has so many bullets too so to wrap it up the build for this marksman rifle is great i recommend just changing the site though warzone 2 slash d DMZ testing time. Let's go ahead, test out the tracers. It looks like the tracers, the impact effects, all of those work. And yeah, we actually get the ghost too. So the death effect also works when you take down bots. Oh, uh, let's not go down. I'm really glad they decided to make the blueprint for the brand new marksman rifle. Because from what I've heard, this thing is insane in DMZ. This thing can take down bots and players like it's absolutely nothing with the right build. And uh Oh, level seven already. Dude, we're, yeah, DMZ is still so amazing for leveling up. But now when we use this, if this becomes one of our new main weapons in DMZ, we're going to have this death effect every time we take down a bot. And at farther ranges, it's not too distracting. Some of the death effects would be kind of annoying if it was a weapon that you used on all of them. But uh, yeah, this one, uh, not too bad at ranges. Close range, you know, might be a little little bad if you're playing shipment, but uh, you're not taking out enemies close range in DMZ all the time. Okay, so now let's make our way towards the Xville. Overall, I think this is a really solid bundle. There have been so many good season two bundles so far. It's hard to decide which one's the best, but the operator skin you get for this is really nice. I really like the nuke skin, but this one's a little bit more subtle than the last one. The last one had the light up effects in the face. This one doesn't have any of that, so it's not gonna give away your position in a more darker area. Area, and it just kind of looks slick. I really like that. The blueprints themselves look kind of basic, but I do like the tracer effects. The tracer effects on these weapons are absolutely fire. If I had to give this bundle a ranking, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. So far, Season 2 has been killing it with bundles. I can't wait to see what other bundles they launch this season and what we're going to see in Season 3. As always, if you want to see any more super in-depth bundle reviews like this one, we'll review everything in the bundle before you buy it. That way you can tell whether or not you're going to like it or not. Make sure to sub to this channel because every time a big notable bundle comes out, we're going to review it fully in depth. Oh, here we go. My ride's here. And with that, we're out, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.